Hi, you guys. Welcome to a very quick episode of Howdy's Holy Hour Hangout after Raw, an action packed Raw where we saw uh, Sister Abigail by uh, Bo Dallas by Uncle Howdy. We also saw a video for Nikki Cross. So, we're going to get into those details. Of course, my dog wants to be involved because why wouldn't he? Uh, so, you can hear his barking. Uh, we are going to get back into what happened last night on Raw right after this. Guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for supporting these videos as well. Uh, this one's going to be a speedy one uh, just because we've got lots to do this week. I'm going to Finland uh, at the end of the week, so I'm going to be um, trying to get videos to you, but I'm not sure what that's going to look like. Uh, but yes, uh, very excited by what happened last night on Raw. First off, we had the video, Nikki Cross saying, look at your, well, not Nikki Cross, uh, but uh, Uncle Howdy, the distorted Uncle Howdy voice saying, look at yourself. Uh, that was consistent uh, with these kind of these kind of themes, these darker themes in the videos. There's, of course, a still from that there. Um, Nikki Cross not getting too personal this time, which I thought was quite, you know, I wasn't necessarily that into it. Um, just, you know, it was spooky. It was weird. Of course, that sort of guttural scream was there as well uh, that Nikki Cross is known for. Uh, but nothing, nothing too kind of, um, nothing too kind of, uh, revealing here with regards to Nikki's background or what she's doing here but again look at yourself there was a lot of the things about being abandoned uh, there as well uh, so again it could sort of tie into the sanity stuff and the the previous faction stuff that uh, we uh, you know we know um, Nikki struggles with and that kind of idea of loneliness so I think that is something that um, comes across here and of course we have that again that scream which I think a lot of people on social media are saying wow it was one of the creepiest things WB has done on television of course the, the face was distorted as well uh, so a really nice little bit of uh, uh, video work there featuring Nikki Cross I do hope we get some kind of it's difficult because of Nikki Cross's accent and the Scottish accent it's sort of uh, the Scottish accent it might take away from the spookiness but I hope we get some more reveals even if she's not speaking because uh, she's such a great role, she's such a great performer and actress. Um, so I do hope we get more from Nikki Cross. But once again, this was a nice little intro, the shorter video this time. Look at yourself. Um, again, maybe how she's changed, maybe how she's developed. Uncle Audi questioning Nikki Cross and how she's yeah, how she's developed as a character. And um, so I thought that was really interesting. And then, of course, that led to later on in the night, uh, we had um Chad Gable admonishing the former um his former faction of course otis uh, tozawa uh, in there as well uh, and uh yeah in the ring everybody's in the ring the former alpha academy and uh otis denies chad gable the uh chad gable wants to help them and wants say uh, he wants the alpha academy to join his new faction uh otis uh denies it and um and then uh yeah that was <laughs> just kind of says no to him and of course then uh the uh the lights go out uh why at six go after you get, you get uh rowan you get um gacy you get uh nikki cross um and of course dexter loomis who we may see a tape from next week um i'd like to see that i think it'd be interesting to see his drawings and and the creative drawings that he does um because i know that was part of the teases so I think that'd be really cool to see Dexter Loomis um, do that. Um, but yeah, so we saw everybody come out on the ape on the through 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 Griller, which they destroyed um, previous weeks. But they're coming out through there now. And then of course Uncle Howdy appears behind Chad Gable and hits a Sister Abigail. Got a couple of visuals from that. There's the Sister Abigail uh, that new attire from Uncle Howdy there as well. Uh, looks cool. It looks to be his ring attire. Uh, there with the arms out, uh, a little bit of a, a sort of a testament to Bray there as well, with the fireflies in the background. What a shot! And there's another one, a little bit bigger there, and what a visual of. Uh, and Chad Gable took the sister Abigail so well. Uh, I thought it was fantastically done, and and and, Ch and uh, yeah, uh, Bo um, Taylor Rutten looks in good shape as well. So very very cool, uh, really really cool kind of um, reveal there. We wanted to see a, a sister Abigail. And I think it's quite close to. Uh, when the fiend hit sister Abigail on Finn as well in terms of uh, dates 
I think it was like two years ago, three years ago, something like that. Maybe, maybe a little more. But yes, Uncle Howdy hit Sister Abigail on Chad Gable, and uh, and it was a beautiful moment. Beautiful moment. Uh, call back to Bray, of course. There's the tongue out as well. It's a very Bray Wyatt in its execution. Uh, once again, I do want to come back to this. I think Nikki Cross does great work here. Uh, that that guttural scream is fantastic. I would have liked to have seen something else. Obviously, I, again, I, I was about to say dialogue. I would have liked to have seen a talk, but then um, does it take away from the? You know, does it take away from the spookiness if you have the Scottish accent? Not this, not this. You know, the Scottish accent is wonderful. I, I, I think it's fantastic. But, but does it take away from the, uh, from the, 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 what they're trying to do here to have Nikki Cross speak? Um, but I hope we see more from Nikki Cross and more um, reveal from Nikki Cross soon, uh, because, uh, because I think she's fantastic. And again, we did see her real face here, uh, which I know some people were unsure whether we were going to. We don't. We did see a real face alongside the masked face. So I think that was fantastic. Uh, once again, though, I think it's really, really cool that um, uh, that we saw the the sister Abigail. I think that's fantastic, and what a what a beautiful moment there for Brave fans, and, and you know, Uncle Howdy paying tribute there as well. Uh, guys, thank you so much for this very uh, for being here for this very very quick recap. I'm only doing it uh, so it's nine thirty in the morning here. I've got a busy day ahead. Uh, I will try and get some other video content out for you this week. Um, I'm going to Finland at the end of the week, so uh, I will try and get some stuff done there. Um, I don't know how we'll do it, but I will try and get some stuff done because uh, obviously there'll be more stuff next week on Raw. Uh, I think it's a wonderful time to be a fan of wrestling, guys. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for reuniting my love of wrestling by coming here, showing up for these videos, uh, you know, in whatever form they take. Of course, you can hear my dog, Lou. Um, some of you may have seen Lou on social media, but he's wonderful, but he's very, uh, he wants to get out because probably there's a squirrel outside. So he's been barking the whole length of this video, all of all seven minutes of it. So I hope you don't mind. And um, I'm sure he would love all of you guys. So yes, um, I just want to say again, wonderful time, again, wonderful time to be a wrestling fan. And uh, again, again, I said that a few times today. Anyway, um, yeah, um, Dolph Ziggler, um, Nick Nemeth is, is the new TNA champion. I wanted to mention that because I think he's just, I think he's better than Shawn Michaels. I know that's controversial. I think he's one of the best wrestlers um, of all time, personally, Nick Nemeth, Dolph Ziggler. Um, so I love, I love what TNA are doing now. And of course, the NXT crossovers are continuing. I, I really like the Dominic Mysterio, uh, Liv Morgan, Rhea Ripley triangle. I kind of think Dom might might turn on Rhea at some point. You know, Liv, I think Liv's kind of playing mind games. I think it's really, really well done. The CM Punk, uh, Seth. And Drew, uh, you know, mix up. I think you know, with with uh, with Seth being the special guest referee now for the CM Punk and Drew clash. So I think it's going to be very, very exciting. And I, I'm I'm just happy to be a fan. You know, I'm just happy to be a fan again, which is lovely. So thank you all for for helping me reignite that and and, and being here and supporting Dan on his Raws that he does, because obviously he stays up late to do Raw. Anthony, of course, on AEW Dynamite, and 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 Andy, who's been doing some fantastic job on jobs on. But a fantastic job you can tell it's uh you can tell i'm just woken up uh andy for doing a great job on his friday um friday kind of discussions uh so yeah thank you all for being here guys thank you for for supporting the channel and uh yeah very excited about the future now again we saw a little bit of nikki cross so does that mean we're going to see uh, dex Loomis and joe gacy soon and uh i'm very excited that we actually saw Bo in ring uh uncle howdy in ring and uh, yeah, onwards and forwards to SummerSlam. Going to be an exciting time. Guys, thank you for watching. I will see you guys next time. Uh, oh yeah. Bye guys. Which is the right outro. Oh yeah.